Well, hello guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel and yet another victim's video. Let's start off by moisturizing Karina's face. Now for that, we are using the No 7 Beautiful Skin H Defense Cleanser. Following with brows, for that we are using Anastasia's Beverly Hills Pomade in the shade Tote. Karina's eyebrows are already pretty full looking, so all I was doing was just shading a little bit and you know adding color to her eyebrows just so they won't look too pale or ashy um, after applying foundation. So now it is time to carve the bottom eyebrows and for that I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. So we're going to go ahead and use the concealer to um, to prep the lids or as an eyeshadow base for the eyeshadow. And all I'm doing is I am spreading down the concealer all the way to her lids and then just blending it with the Real Techniques foundation brush. I like to set the concealer with some uh, translucent powder and whichever powder you have, I use the airspun um, translucent powder to just set the lid. So for today's eyeshadow look, we went in with the Morphe palette, the 35V, and we used the color Trist and Wild Thing on the outer V of Karina's eye and then just blended it back and forth just so we could intensify the color in the crease. So now we are just blending any lines that were created by applying the uh, dark eyeshadow first and we are using the Morphe M218 brush. Now I am intensifying the outer V a little bit more with Seduced and I am using the MAC brush 217. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and cut the crease. I am using a small concealer brush just so I can see what I'm doing and to, you know, be secure that I'm going to have a nice slick line or cut crease. And I am using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to achieve this. With a fluffy clean brush, all I'm doing is blending that line that we left to where we stopped applying the concealer. And now I'm going in with Knockout, which is a nice shimmery silver color on the inner corner of the eye. There we cut the crease. With the MAC 217 brush, we're just going to go in and blend that silver shade and add just a little bit of uh, color just so everything looks nice and put together. Now we're going in with liner and for that I am using the Tarte uh, Clay Liner. Um, that one's really, really thick and I like the darkness of it. It doesn't smear or um, look blotchy. Uh, now we're just gonna go in with some mascara just so we go ahead and prepare the, her own lashes for some falsies. To prep the skin for foundation, I went in with the MAC Strobe Cream. 
So I started off by applying the foundation, but I forgot to color correct some blemishes she had. So we went back and just did that for her. We went in with some Mineral Touch Unique Foundation. Um, that foundation works really, really good for Karina. She recommended it to me. That's something that she's just been using. And we went ahead and mixed it with um, some NYX foundation. And the NYX foundation that I mixed it with was the True Beige. And we just wanted to have a little bit of a yellow tone since uh, that unique foundation is a little bit on the pink side so we just you know did a little mix and match now I'm going in with concealer and I am using the one and only Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Neutral To set the concealer, we went in with the Derma Blend Professional Loosening Powder in the shade Original. So to set the rest of her face, we went in with the Flower Light Illusion Perfecting Powder in the shade Beige. And to bronze her beautiful skin, we went in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. For blush today, we are using Milani in the shade Luminoso. Now to smoke out the bottom lash line, we're just going to go in with the same shades that we use for the eyeshadow look. For highlight, we went in with the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. For last but not least, we're just adding a little bit of mascara to her falsies and her bottom lashes. For this look, we went with the Trend Setter Liquid Lipstick from Huda Beauty. And that concludes today's makeup look on our beautiful victim, Karina. Go ahead and let us know what you guys think. If you guys are liking these videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.